Greetings all, Chunks of Earth here. How are you? I'm confused, frustrated. Another typical day in Chunks land. Okay, so <clears throat> the election has been a few days away, uh, November 6th, pretty much called by November 7th. Today is a, it's a week later, a little more than a week later. Um, and what have we learned in one week? The people that lost the election the Mitt Romney, Paul Ryan people, the Carl Rove, the uh, even the Sarah Palins, the Mitt, um, Bill O'Reilly's, uh, and now we have a unique individual as the governor of Maine. In for the party that <clears throat> when Mitt Romney said people need to take responsibility for their actions and their decisions and consequences, for for a man that ran on personal responsibility, nobody in his party seems to accept any responsibility for their loss. And I guess, because this is a trend, I guess this is a sign of weakness, saying, I'm sorry, or I was wrong, I made a mistake. The only one that's come out so far and said they made a mistake was uh, Dick Morris, who was another creepy looking son of a gun. So we have this GOP chairman in Maine that said he believes that there was voter fraud occurring because dozens of black people voted and he doesn't know any black people. So therefore, it's a conspiracy. Um, and no one seems outraged or at least like, what are you talking about? Uh, and it turns out that 1.3% of Maine, the state, is black. So if you're a 1.3% minority, and I think there's something like 100,000 or something like that in there, if you're a 1.3% minority and you probably just go to work, come home, feed your family, hang out with them and whatnot, uh, you try to interact as much as possible, I assume, but because you're not visible all the time or in people's faces or I just I just don't get it how I mean, black people in history as shown have been persecuted abused have some racism sent their way uh, and and that's that's we're still dealing with with that kind of uh, ingrained perception so because he saw people voting on election day, but didn't see them any other time, instead of going, wow, you know, that's unusual. Maybe I should get to know these people more, or maybe I should make them feel more included and, you know, reach out to these people. Uh, no, they were shipped in. They were shipped in, and they've got false addresses, and there's massive voter fraud going on. It's hard to win over people and persuade them to your side of the argument when you're consistently in denial about your own actions, your own perceptions, and your own take on reality. Um, and in Mitt Romney's camp, he's stated that he lost because Obama gave the minorities and young people gifts like health care, um, working on forgiving student debt, and what was the other one? Forgiving student debt, health care. Oh, and the DREAM Act, which is allowing children of undocumented immigrants that have gone to school here and worked and, and contributed as citizens to allow them a, a quicker path to citizenship. So Romney considers all these things gifts. In the country of e pluribus unum, out of many, one, um, bring us your tired, your ragged, your you know, the Statue of Liberty stuff. Um, but all that, that's that's not what America is about. America is not about minorities. America is not about uh, franchise, enfranchising people. It's about disenfranchising people. It's about voter suppression. And, and instead of, of going, well, you know, we gave people our message and they weren't buying it. We need to adjust our message accordingly. No, no. It's your fault. Blame goes all the way around because that's what narcissists and people that are strung out on egos 
and people that are self-important and selfish, those are all traits of people that are sociopaths. It's somebody else's fault. I didn't get my way. <sighs> GOP's got a long way to go. Long way. So let's talk about that, that education thing real quick. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, there was a push for young people to go to college. And it was told that we need skilled, educated young people because there's going to be all these jobs in the healthcare industry, in the education system, uh, industry, in um, engineering, science, math, and stuff like that. We're going, to, we're going to be growing as a nation exponentially, so we need people to fill these jobs. So we don't have to, to bring them in from other countries and whatnot. We need to, to bring up about our own citizens. So what do they do? They go to school. They can't afford it. They get student debt. You know, they get loans and they complete their education and as soon as they do the jobs are gone. So what's the reaction from the GOP? You should have thought of that. It's not our fault. You made the decision to incur that debt. You made the decision to go to school and get a degree that we don't need and we can't use. Huh? Rami solution? Ask your parents. Ask the people that have lost their jobs, lost their retirement, lost their homes, Ask them for help with money. It's it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, um, and I can't figure out why the, the GOP isn't leading. I, I don't get it. People want things. Bill O'Reilly, Sarah Palin, people want things. It's crazy. I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you.